Here at Utah Valley University, we pride ourselves on having exceptional care, exceptional accountability, and exceptional results. And with the advancement of new technologies such as AI and ChatGPT, students have been having to find new and unique ways to navigate these tools. Here at the UVU Review, we've interviewed some of our UVU professors to decide whether or not AI will be a mission impossible level threat or be a positive force in education. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest concern for faculty is how do we limit, you know, cheating or um, different things, you know, not your own work or, or whatnot on, on different types of stuff like that. I think there's an argument to be made for treating AI like people to a degree. And that's not to suggest that I think that they are. If I told you and don't talk to any of your fellow students about this, right? don't have anyone proofread this for you, don't look for any input on this paper, you'd think that was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Right. Mm -hmm. How would you do? If I treat AI like it's a person and I say, look, you need to write the paper, but can you get input mm -hmm. from this language model about how well a job you're doing? That's about the same as if you go to your best friend who's also in the class and say, hey, could you read over my paper? Yeah, yeah, you know, they've talked about that that plagiarism and, you know, how does that fall into play? And I also think that in most cases, if you are going to be affected negatively by this, if you're going to abuse this system, you would have abused some other system. We're early enough in use of AI that these are just tools and you're going to have to expect that you're going to have to learn to use them. I think it's a great thing that we're doing here at UVU, I think, to be proactive. We know that it's coming. We we know that it's right here on our doorstep. And I think the the more that we can be leading edge here at Utah Valley University is like, that's that's what we do here, right? With the talent that is here on campus that we have with UVU as far as faculty and staff. Um, we have we have the talent right here to make this happen. If 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 part of our job as professors is to prep you for some business case in the real world and I look at you and say, but don't use any of this large language model. So you're going to leave here and immediately go to a job where they say, and this is the large language model we use when we're right. doing emails or this is the this is the transcripts of our meeting comes from GPT. <laughs> I can't realistically look at you and say, don't do this. Right. Good luck when you leave here. Like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I, I do tell students these are useful tools and I hope that you're going to use them, but you have to use them as tools. And this is just an amazing place to be. We have... It's an amazing culture um, that that is created here at the university. And I think if you take that culture and the talent and you take a problem or a new situation like AI and you put those together and you start problem solving and you start getting these people together and having conversation, I think we have an amazing team here to figure it out and and put everything together and and I think UVU is, is we're going to be a leader in this. I think if we can properly t uh, train students and teach them how to use this technology to their benefit, it can take them to new heights in their careers. Well, that's a really optimistic way of looking at it. And honestly, uh, you're kind of convincing me of it too. So, I mean, yeah, who knows? Maybe we will, maybe we'll be um, tip of the spear in that regard. We'll have to have this interview again in five years and see. Right. Yeah. Years, right. For sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring it back on.